Well, uh, good morning. Hi, it's Imogen here with Body Intelligence. And I'm here with my friend, um, client, and now um, uh, partner for some courses and workshops we're offering for people dealing with trauma and chronic stress. Um, trauma awareness activist, Shay Seaborn. So hi, Shay, welcome. Thank you. And we wanted to do this little video today because we've been thinking about this idea of why it's not always necessary to kind of rehash, kind of go into old experiences, uh, trauma, stressful situations, whatever that might be for you, um, to, to start feeling better, to help um, yourself build or rebuild a uh, what we might call a well-regulated nervous system, that you don't always have to go there. That can be part of the process. But for what I do in my work, it's not necessary. Um, and, you know, that's a little bit different from other approaches. So, um, um, you know, and especially talk therapy, which definitely can be very important and has its place, but this is different. Um, so I want, I'm wondering what you'd like to say about that, Shay, and, and why um, this can be a helpful approach, um, whether or not they're in therapy or not. I don't know. You know <laughs> <what> I <mean>. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, it can be helpful for people who are in therapy or not. I'm in therapy pretty much all the time. Um, I have two therapists right now. I've had three um, at one time. Um, and I still find this work extremely valuable. And it actually helps me progress with my therapy in ways that not doing it wouldn't, that that um, I'd kind of be left behind, really. And the thing I love the most about this is you don't have to remember what happened or talk about it. If we talk about uh, say childhood traumas again and again, we're actually reinforcing the neural pathways for those experiences, mm -hmm. um, which is the opposite of what we want to do. So with this work, we're at the nervous system level and we're changing the nervous system. And that's not independent of, but um, next to the memories. Um, so you can process the trauma through your body using the cognitive applications of these techniques um, without having to rehash all that stuff and feel those feelings again. It's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so you made a comment to me the other day about that in some ways um, the body intelligence work is operating more at the nervous system level rather than the cognitive, which I thought was interesting, especially as we use our conscious thinking and awareness to bring this about. Um, yeah, that is one of the coolest <laughs> things about, about neurobiology is that we can change mm -hmm. our brains and minds and relationships through any one of those. We can change our brains and minds through relationships. We can change our relationships through our brain and mind. All those things integrate and affect one another. So yes, using um, cognitive skills, such as they may be, um, if you're severely dysregulated, you're going to have less access to those, um, as I well know. Um, mm -hmm. And having practice with these techniques makes them more available during times of stress when you, mm. when you need something like that, um, because you built the neural pathways for the use of this, um, it's just really a wonderful thing to have next to you. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just checking my notes here. Um, so um, we said it doesn't matter, um, it's not necessary and you've, suggested why it might even be helpful to not have to go over things over and over right you mm -hmm. know you need to kind of limit that side of things if that's something that you need to do and it's not always necessary and I think 
we've even said that you know some people even don't know and it's not even necessary to know what the things are that have um traumatized or stressed you mm -hmm. to be able to start um healing for want of a better word from those things um and the point i wanted to make is kind of related to what you just said this is not to say that you're not allowed to <laughs> to talk about things if that's useful to you to to, to share what's come up or that in private like you said that it can be very useful when these stressful traumatic memories come back or maybe if you are in talk therapy it can actually help you i don't know if this is true maybe you can tell me to to talk about them because you ha maybe have a means to not have a bit of space between no is, is yeah, that true actually, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah actually i'm really glad you brought that up i i hadn't really thought of it that way before but it, it's very true mm -hmm. um yeah because because these techniques help us um tune into our inner state we can get so much information about our our emotional state our our affect and and um, even our physical conditions um, through this work and that really informs um, therapy especially if you're working with a somatic therapist um, because um, when it comes to trauma and chronic stress we really need to work on the somatic level too um, and a lot of talk therapy leaves that out unfortunately so even if you have that kind of therapist who's at the talk therapy only level you're going to find a lot of value in understanding how your nervous system works and being tuned into your body so you can recognize what your nervous system is trying to tell you um yes yeah, so um we're actually really excited because we have a course coming up um starting on Valentine's Day of all <laughs> days, but maybe that's a really great time to kind of make a commitment to be more loving towards yourself. I don't mm -hmm. know. Um, but that's what I would say is really the intention of this, just a four week course, but it's to help people start learning these skills and practices and techniques to, to, manage um, and cultivate and start building or rebuilding um, a well-regulated nervous system of their own. And that is yeah. that is the key to health. A well-regulated nervous system helps integrate the brain, regulate the emotions, and it actually affects our relationships, makes them better. In fact, uh, as my nervous system regulation has improved, um, I find every level of living is better. Everything mm. is easier with a well-regulated um, nervous system. Not that I have one yet, but I'm getting there. <laughs> you're getting much, much closer. And yes, yes. Um, and I think it's really important for everyone, whatever the, you know, your past experiences. So, yeah. Um, um, e e even, even people who uh, were lucky enough to have, you know, a good enough childhood and parents who gave them the foundation for, a, a long, good, happy life, um, especially in our culture today, we're under so much stress. Just the pandemic is enough to stress out our nervous systems because it goes on and on and on, and it affects our ability to connect with each other, which is really mm -hmm. harmful for the nervous system. Yeah. So everybody can benefit from from these techniques. Yes. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to be fancy here and put a little banner up that shows you the um the web address if you're interested in the course that we have coming up it's called foundations of regulation um is there anything else that you'd like to say shay um about this idea of of not having to rehash or go over um difficult I, experiences i think for most people that's a really big gift Mm -hmm. um, especially if you had a lot of severe trauma like I did. Uh, sometimes I wish I'd learned all this, you know, 40 years ago. Um, and then I wouldn't have to remember so many mm -hmm. things that I had to remember because that was the only option for me. Mm -hmm. um, and, and also, when you do remember, this also helps as well. The techniques can help um, mediate the um, 
flashback and and uh, help us come away from the intrusive thought or the upsetting memory and and find um, equilibrium within ourselves again. It's extremely mm. valuable. Yes, it's been just such a um, for me working with you such a, a rewarding experience, and I'm just so. Um, in awe of the progress and the commitment you've made to your own, you know, well-being. So. Thank you. I feel very lucky that I somehow stumbled across your name four and a half years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. been a life changer. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you for watching. If anyone has any questions for either of us, just, you know, message or put in the comments. Uh, we'd be happy to get back to you. And we're going to do another video um, next week. And we'll be talking about more about regulation or regulated nervous system and what that means and why having a well-regulated nervous system is important. Um, all right. Thank you, Shay. Thank you. And thanks for watching. Great day, everyone. <laughs>